Greetings and salutations everyone, Amadeus44 here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Minecraft on the Omcraft server. Apologies for the audio quality in the past couple of episodes. Uh, I don't know what happened, but apparently my noise gate on uh, OBS was not really working that well, and was get cutting out very frequently. Not as bad as it was with my old Nuclear Throne daily videos, but... Still pretty bad. Anyways, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing quite okay. Uh, let's go and see what we can do. Well, first things first, I do have a few things that I need to dump into a Z food chest. Let's just do that real quick. Okay, hopefully we are not getting too full up on all of these good things. And first, let me show you what I have so far. I decided to start up on the kitchen area. Uh, it is looking good. I have all of the Pam Harvest Craft stuff here. Um, I have a sink. And I am getting ready to make a cutting, or yeah, a cutting surface. I was thinking of treated lumber. So let's just do that real quick. Uh, let's see here. One, two. Let's see if I can do this off the top of my head. It's eight planks and one creosote bucket. Yes. Let's see how this looks. I do like the darker color. That much is true. Let's go and put that. Actually, no, let's not put that right there because the uh, mixing bowl is kind of clipping through that hole. Is that the mortar and pestle? Probably the mortar and pestle. Uh, let's put it right here then. And let's go and put the cutting board right here. And we have ourselves a nice little kitchen area. Now, next thing. Sorry folks, but I have to break it out. Portal gun. Okay, this is the food one, so let's go and put it right over here. Come on. Like so. And then let's go and put the seeds one right above it. Sort of like a refrigerator, only not quite. Obviously. On and... Good, perfect. Perfect, perfect. So we've got seeds up here, and we've got foodstuffs down here. Or maybe I can switch it up and have this be like the fruits and vegetables, and then this being the stuff that needs to be chilled, like the meats. Just a thought. Speaking of meats, there we go. And... Now, what else can I do with this to make it look decent? I don't want to do the disordered stone bricks too much because then everything would look too samey. That would not be a really fitting look. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's go and take a look at what we can do with cobblestone. Okay, and then Mr. Chisel. Let's see here. What would look good in a castle? Uh, let's see the huge cobblestone tiles. I think I've looked at these before, but for whatever reason, I did not accept them at that time. Let's go and see how they look right. Hmm. I actually like that. Yeah. Yeah, this would make for a good wall for the kitchen. Wait, did I uh, use this before or did I not? I do not recall. But I am definitely a bit of a fan of this block. Let's see here. So 
so, like so, so that you can just go in and out like this. Maybe put another chest around here for like the finished foods. That might be a good idea. Let's actually move this over here. Let's look at F7 to make sure that we did not break any lighting, which we did. No, not there. Here. Perfect, perfect. Now, let's see. Uh, okay, let's go back out. Is the time machine thing still working? Yep. And five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. Let's just do eleven for now. And that would be this one. Oop. Got another uh, lighting problem. Let's just rectify that just real quick. Right here should. Nope. Right here. Excellent, excellent. Everything is looking good. Now, let's see here. Uh, let's just go like so. And I just need four more. Crud. Okay, so this is looking definitely like a winner, at least so far. So that looks like a nice little archway as sort of an entrance slash exit for the kitchen area. But I am not sure if I'm a fan of it opening up here because then if you want to go into like some sort of dining hall and you have to go through here and then around like so I would much rather have it directly connect to a dining hall so maybe like so let's see here yeah this looks much better. This goes in here. Let's see if I can get the torches so that everything is looking good. Yes, it does. And this way we have, actually, you know what? Yeah. Let's just uh, move it over by one block, like so. Go. Hmm. And move this torch down one so that we don't have any red X's. Actually, let's see if we can do something a little bit better, like so. Much better. Now, with uh, this area being enclosed, maybe the uh, food storage, the prepared food storage, could be right here. Like maybe here? Yeah, that could do. Hmm. Or maybe it could still be right here. That way uh, you could just easily grab the food, go out into the eating hall, and Bob's your uncle. Proverbially, of course. Now then, with that out of the way, let's go with the second order of business. The other day, I went on to do a little bit of tinkering and checking out the farm area, and I got creepers bloated right here ish. I think I did have a torch here. The problem was that the creeper blew it up. So let's just retorch it down. And from what I can gather, Creeper was in here and came through. So that tells me that 
it's not exactly safe. Also, if you may have noticed, I moved the elevators over here. That way we can uh, um, be able to go and look at our stuff and do things like uh, shift click without accidentally going down stairs a level. And I forgot to do the top four. Crap. <sighs> oh wait, I can just go up through here. Like so. Go. And let's pop one down here. Actually, no, let's pop you down here. And then pop another one down here. Okay. This so that it's easier. Oop. No, not there. There. Now then, as I was saying before, I uh, had a bit of a derp moment. Um, what I was thinking was adding some glowstone panels to the uh, uh, water areas here, so. That, uh, it would add a little bit more illumination. That might help, but as you can see, it seems like that most of the X's are coming in at the these areas with the uh, cold sand. So that might not do as much work as I would hope. It means I will have to think a bit. Do I have a a saw here. Yes, I do. Good, good. Let's go and saw this up. I think it's, yeah, it's down here. Oops. Oh, goody. We've got thunder. Not anymore, though. Now, I cannot chisel these, right? Right. But, can I chisel these and then saw them out? Let's see here. Which one would be best? Uh, hmm. Let's go with these ornate glowstone blocks. Now. Yes, I can. Perfect. So, go and pop one down here. Oi, like so. And then one like so. And how can I better the lighting situation for these areas? Hmm. That is a question. One which I do not really have an answer to. Let's uh, do the same thing for this level and then do it for the bottom level. So. Four of these. So it would also make things a little bit easier in case I have to get up here and uh, I do not splash into the water as much. Then, go view. Yeah. And the reason why I'm doing this as well for these levels, even though it looks like we do not have any yellow or red X's here, is consistency. We have it on one floor, why not do it on all three? One of you. And it is these ones. So, let's just get everything done. And then let's think about how we can brighten this level up without moving the plants. Oh, I have an idea, but... I'm not sure if it would work well enough. Let's just go 
and check it out. Okay, we have six of these panels already. Actually, we will have three coming up here. Because... go now let's go and saw this up rips and then saw it up into nooks gives us one dozen nooks does this get things bright enough yes and the nooks are barely visible Now, ah, there's the red X here, so let's go right here. And looks like at least one, no, two yellow X's here. So, right over here. Anything else? Let's just sort of fly. Hopefully, my jetpack won't run out. And everything is looking good. Excellent. Perfect, perfect. Now, let's just see what else we can do. I don't think I need to do the nooks in this floor or the neck or the top one, but let's just go and take a quick look see, anyways. No, no, I don't see anything that needs it. I doubt that it would be very fruitful to look at the third floor. So basically we have nine glowstone nooks left. Yay. And I am hungry. Now, what else can we do? I have no clue. I think I'll be right back while I think about it, okay? Alright, let's go and fix up the... Dining area. As you can see, I did repair the kitchen a little bit. I moved the oven, diamond chest, and uh, the sink. Because when you are working in a kitchen, one of the things that I've learned is to the uh, concept of the kitchen triangle. That is to say, where you have easy access to the refrigerator, the sink, the oven, and the cutting area. So, with it being in a triangular shape, I can just easily go grab the water, grab food items, cut things up, and go and cook. Whereas with the previous area method, I'd have to go here for the water, here for the uh, food stuffs, here to cut up, and here to cook. A bit less efficient that way. Anyways, let's go and get the dining area figured out. Now, I could either do it a vertical dining area, or I could just go like so. And I'm thinking, hmm. I'm thinking of doing it like, so that uh, it's vertical and we go around here. Now, we would need a five wide area, I would think. Uh, or maybe six wide because we need a spacer area, seats, two uh, tables wide, more seating, and then another spacer in the wall. So if I were to do it like so, that would make things actually no because of the fact that we do have this stairwell area. I might have to uh, rearrange this uh, stairwell. Yeah, that might be for the best. Anyways, let's go and do that. I might want to do it just a one block longer than the kitchen area. Actually, no, let's go two blocks longer. So, like so. And let's just, no, not like that, because that would kind of encroach too much on the entryway area. 
and then one, two, three, and then two. And yeah, that should do it. Perfect. Now let's go and finish up the walling in. Go. Oops, no, not there. And then a little bit more here. Good, good. And it does look like I will need to get some more uh, stone for this project. Okay, and let's just do this. I am not making this castle based on anything. I'm just sort of freehanding it. I'm sure you have kind of guessed that. And it looks like, no, I do not need more of these bricks. Go. And this way, when we have a feast, the kitchen people can go in, grab food, and just walk through. Like that. So now I am second guessing. What if instead of having the kitchen up here, what about having like a small little basement area where we can have the kitchen? That might work. It might, but eh, I don't know. It's just a thought. Or maybe I can... No, no, I'm not going to... Uh, use one of the towers for it. But. So. Not sure what to do then. But at least we do have some plans going now. The reason why I was thinking about a basement area was because. Let's just say somebody's walking in through here. Some kitchen staff is walking through. That would kind of create a bit of a traffic problem. Nobody would want that. Plus, let's face it, we can probably do something else with this area. Just a thought. Anyways, I will mull it over, and then I might try to prototype it, or I might save it for the next episode, but for now, I think we are done here. So, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, or whatever you want. And as usual, this Omday is 484 signing out, wishing you a wonderful day, and happy gaming. Farewell.